And we're joined by Kyle Geronazzo, the Libertarian candidate for Kelowna Lake Country. We talked to one of your Libertarian candidates earlier in the week. Uh, tell me what separates a Libertarian from a typical right-wing politician. Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, within the libertarian movement, there's a very big emphasis upon personal liberties and freedoms. Since 1986, BC, the BC Libertarian Party has been at the forefront for advocating for legalized gay marriage, decriminalization of, uh, you know, drugs and whatnot, right. and uh, you know, more of a focus on personal freedoms. Right, and but with that are some of the more traditional, sort of right-wing focuses about getting government out of our lives a little more than they currently are. So it's kind of a partnership of ideas, some of the things we'd associate with right-wing politics with some other things we might associate more from the left. Oh, absolutely. Uh, some people call us radical centrists. Radical centrists. Okay, interesting. Um, but I think that um, by getting government out of our lives, I take it the goal is to reduce the tax burden on individuals. Is that kind of the, the end game, or at least part of it? Oh, absolutely. Uh, we believe strongly that the individual over the government would be better left uh, to manage their own finances, just as we do. Uh, we would believe the same thing for their own personal freedoms, of course. Right. Uh, I guess my role here isn't to necessarily argue, but it's, it seems when, when you look at government finances, there, there's some that's just hard to uh, separate ourselves from. We've got health care, education, looking after highways. By the time you, you, you look after these things that are kind of entrenched for us, there's not a whole lot of area left to sort of pull back from, or is there? Well, uh, in my case, what I advocate for is, you know, a voluntary solution to a lot of these, you know, government government solutions, if you will, to work alongside rather than in, uh, in place of. So for example, uh, you touched on healthcare. Uh, we're one of the few countries in the world that has a public only model. So what I want to, you know, I'd like to see in my lifetime, if possible, would be a voluntary model running alongside our public model to, you know, to take the load off so that, you know, universal healthcare doesn't just become a universal waiting line. Right. So you would maintain the opportunity for people to participate in public health care but open it up to a private arm as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. In many of the top delivering countries when it comes to in terms of health care coverage, many of them, in, in fact I think most of them, are a two-tier system. So by throwing your hat in the ring here, what do you hope to, to accomplish? It, these um, Kelowna ridings, look pretty liberal. It's, it would be a shocker if any of these didn't go liberal by election day, but here you are talking to me. I guess that's the opportunity to try to inject some libertarian ideas into the conversation and maybe at some point, maybe in the future, actually elect somebody. Oh, sure. Uh, I have no illusions of, you know, becoming the next MLA for Kelowna Lake Country. Uh, what I run for is to advocate for my values. Last time in the 2018 by-election for Kelowna West, I focused on um, allowing for competition uh, against ICBC, and I'm happy to see the Liberals take that position themselves. So, I mean, if, if by running they take more of my platform positions, then all the better for me. Terrific. Thanks so much for taking some time to tell us about it. Thank you.